I had a thought this morning. Um, I was thinking about why. Why do we have to suffer and um, go through suffering to get rid of sin? Like, like in Revelations is when um, when it talked about the Laodiceans, they said, "You're wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked." Um, you need to buy from me gold tried in the fire. And, you know, we're being tried by these trials. And it is removing the dirt from us, just like heat removes the dirt from gold. And, um, and I was thinking about it, and, and it's like, um, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth with in me and Paul said I die daily so like what what is this and so it got me thinking about Balaam and how when Balak saw the children of Israel on the borders of his country he got worried and he wanted to get rid of these people and so he said he thought since they're supernatural he knew you know he heard had heard of Balaam and that Balaam had done some supernatural things because Balaam was once pro a prophet of God. And um, so he comes there with his messengers and his gold, and Balaam sees all this money and wants it. And even though he knew that the children of God were blessed and that he shouldn't curse them, he wanted to do it anyway because of his greed and his selfishness. And so he goes over there. The king tries to get him to, to bless them. Um, to curse them and he ends up blessing them and and he can't say anything but blessings for them so Balak ends up getting mad he's like man get out of here so then Balaam had a plan he's like I want this money so bad I'm gonna show Balak how to curse God's people and how does he get them to curse God's people by getting them to sin they threw a big party got them to start doing all the things that they were doing in this party orgies and all kinds of stuff and a plague came upon God's people and the only way the plague was stayed was there was a person that was a, a high up in the hierarchy of Israel that brought a prostitute in and was sleeping with her in his tent and one of the priests came and drove a spear through him so that um, so he killed him and that's what and that's what when the plague was stayed that's when the plague stopped and i believe truly believe that that's what it is with selfishness selfishness must die and death is not fun it's not easy it's something hard to go through if a person is dying that's not an easy process it is sometimes it's quick sometimes it's it's long and painful but no matter what it's not an easy process and so as selfishness has died as we go through these trials that we face we're faced with whether to give in to self and be selfish or to give that selfishness to Jesus and let him take it from us and so whatever you're going through whatever is going on I just pray that you know that Jesus knows what it's like. He came down to this earth and he gave up his life for us. And he loves you and he wants you to succeed. Give your heart and life to him. Know that it might be painful. Know that you might go through some things that you might not like. But just keep going. Cling to Jesus. That was the song I was thinking of earlier. Come to Jesus. And then once you come to Jesus, cling to Jesus. Cling to Jesus and live.